The Pikachin 18 is the next it bag of 2023. If you think I'm lying, check out all of social media because everyone's talking about it. Non quota bags are in this year, and I think it's might might be because um, there's not a, there's a lot of uh, fiscal insecurity and there's not a lot of tolerance for playing the Hermes game. And while some people are starting their journey, I think a lot of people are actually shooting for the non quota bags this year because. They're a lot more accessible. They appeal to millennials and Gen Z. So I'm really excited to actually share with you my recent acquisition. It is a Picatin 18 and I got it $300 under retail. So you're not gonna believe this. I literally just picked it up last week. I'm so, so stoked. Um, I did purchase it from Fashion File. I did not shop the Hermes bag drop, but if you do want to learn about how to shop the Hermes bag drop, make sure you hit this link up here. I, I have a couple of videos on it on my channel and I love sharing with you how to get bags from the Hermes bag drop. I actually have two bags in here that I did get from the bag drop and one is new that you haven't even seen it yet. So I'm going to keep that as a surprise though. It'll be in my next video. So make sure you like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see the recent bag that I got. I also purchased it last week. So super, super excited. I bought, I bought three bags, um, Hermes bags, two from the drop and one from Fashion File within the last two weeks. So I feel like that's a little excessive, but you know, we're on our journey and this is just how it's gonna be <laughs> for now. I also have an Hermes appointment next week, which I'm super, super stoked about. And I have a couple goodies coming in the mail. So lots of Hermes stuff to come. Um, in regards to this bag, I do think it's going to be the next it bag of 2023. I see a lot of social media trending towards this bag and just how casual and easy it is. And also it's under $3,000. Uh, if you can pick it up new, obviously, um, on the secondhand market, they're generally going, um, for around 4,000 to 4,500. So Quite, quite expensive. Um, today, I wanna to talk to you about the Picatin 18. I got it from Fashion File. I got it $300 under retail. And as we go through this video and the unboxing, I will share with you, um, you know, what I did to you know, get the discount codes and to, you know, obtain this bag um, at such a great discount because it still came out under retail after taxes, which was insane, right? Because they're new on the Hermes bag drop for $28.75. I picked this one up for around $2,600 and after taxes, it was a little bit under $2,800. So like I saved all of my tax like, and I still got it under retail. So super, super stoked. It, um, it did not come with the box. So I bought this box secondhand from Poshmark. And I know that might sound crazy, but having a full set, to a handbag really increases the value of a bag. So I think that might've been one of the reasons that I was able to get a really great deal on this. I paid around $30 for this bag and I authenticated it at home. So I just took, I have like a little gel um, nail light, an LED gel nail light. And I just took it into my laundry room, I plugged it in and then I just like put it over the bag. I actually have a short little video of it. I'll just like put it up in here so you guys can see. Um, and you will see that there is a pattern on this box that's only activated by UV light. So I authenticated it before I, I accepted it, right? Because this does add value to the box or to the bag. So I, so I did, so I went ahead and just bought the box. Why not? Right? Whatever. I still, even after buying a box that was still under retail. So no big deal. Um, it did, it is missing one key, um, but it does have the lock. It is in excellent condition um, and it came with the dust bag and et cetera. So let's jump into the unboxing so that I can show you this bag. It's a super cosa color and I'm super, super stoked to be adding it to my collection, especially like with the deal that I got. So here she is. Obviously this is not real unboxing. I've already, like I unbagged it when it came from Fashion File. Um, but this, I, I'd like steamed the ribbons and I'll, I actually can put it in like a clip of like behind the scenes of like unboxing. Cause I know that every person that talks on the internet about handbags, like has done this. Um, I'm not the only one. So everything's staged guys. So here she is. Dust bag. She is from 2018. So she's only a couple years old, so not too bad. We got the dust bag. I also steamed the dust bag because I was like, girl, 
like she needs to she needs to be nice and smooth for you and here she is I packaged it like I always see like people package unpackaging new ones from um, the Hermes boutique because I just wanted to give you guys that experience because you can still get that experience even from the secondhand market like it is nice to get new um, but like I love to recycle and I love to like have sustainable fashion items and so for me buying this bag secondhand was a great like was a great thing for me and how I like to live my life and as you can see, it's in excellent condition. Beautiful. There is light scratches on the feet, um, but that's pretty much it. Like it's pretty much perfect. Um, no odor, no nothing. Um, so let's show you. I still have the little fashion file tag on it. I need to take that off. <laughs> um, here is the little bag with the lock in it. And I do have an organizer in it. I already put the organizer in it because um, I bought this off of Amazon. It was like 30 bucks or something. Um, just to kind of like keep it like more structured and upright. Um, yeah, so if you guys want um, an organizer, I can um, link what this one what this one is. But there's so many on, the, on there. It's like, it doesn't really matter. Just look up the Picatin 18. At first I actually purchased one um, and I purchased the wrong size because it said Picatin 18, but then it was for a Picatin 22. And I was like, why doesn't this fit and I was like so annoyed so I returned it anyways okay so I'm gonna put this back in so obviously it comes it's like just a bucket bag it doesn't like it's just a hole like there's nothing you know in there um, for like putting anything in there this does come with like some little pockets honestly haven't used the bag yet so I don't know exactly you know what fits but i will figure that out um if you saw my last video about the prada bag that i got for 150 dollars that i restored <laughs> maybe i will uh do an ode to that video and see how many white claws can fit in this bag because i feel like it's a good reference summer is coming and it's you know gonna be a white claw summer for me i don't know about you <laughs> um but here we go so this is the the accessories obviously and we have one key, it didn't come with both keys. I, I also think this is one of the reasons why um, it wasn't as expensive as some of the others on the secondhand market, but as long as it has a key and it has the lock, I didn't really care. For me, it's just for personal use, so it's not like, like who's gonna come over to my house and be like, mm, I would really like to see the second key to your Picatin. Like, like you're not a real one if you don't have the second key. Like nobody's coming to my house to do that. Like I'm just like a real person that just really enjoys fashion and wants to share with you like how to, how to get great deals um, on handbags. And to that point, like if you do like this content, please make sure you like and subscribe um, to my channel because I really am enjoying making these videos for you guys. And like, honestly, I just want to help you save your bag and get your bag. <laughs> um, okay, so I bought this on Fashion File dur during the Lunar New Year sale that they had going on. Um, I mean, as early as last week, right? Um, so I bought it on the last day of their Lunar New Year sale. Um, and it was actually by a chance, this is like an impulse purchase. I went on and I just kind of like sorted and I was like looking through and obviously normal, like I sorted low to high and obviously most of the time, um, like the different colors will have better deals on them, not like really the classic colors. So you're talking about like black and gold, like those colors generally aren't on sale. The Lunar New Year sale specifically um, was 10% off of already discounted items. So this bag was 20% off. The first discount that they had applied was over $750. And then with the additional Lunar New Year sale like discount code that gave me the additional 10% off was almost $300. So I got almost $1,000 off of it. So around $2,600. And then after taxes where I live, um, it came out to around $2,800. And then I bought this box which is around 30 30 like a little over 30 maybe and like still under under retail which is 28.75 and i'm like super obsessed with this bag i think it's going to be so perfect just to be part of my permanent collection and girl i'm gonna wear this to hermes next week and i'm so excited like i already texted the essay up there um, where i'm going and i was like hey like, I want to grab some Twillies, I just got a Picatin, and I want to grab some uh, Oran sandals. I actually have a discount from um, Hermes right now. I have a $600 or more credit because I had some Oran sandals that kind of got um, 
that had peeled like after wearing two for two days and they took them back they gave me um, a credit but I do have to use that credit in store so no big deal like I'm not really fussed about it but I'm just like excited to go to the boutique and see what they have I've never been to this location before um, and I've never met this SA before so I don't know I need to like really like buckle down and get a home store <laughs> because I just like don't have a home store right now um, but We'll see how it goes. We'll see if we jive. We'll see if we connect because like I just really, really want to like have a good relationship with an essay. I don't really want it to be fake. I don't want it to feel forced, which like I've had that so many times. Um, if you guys want to learn how, um, you know, I've been able to get essays in the past and, um, you know, kind of what has happened in those situations and why I'm looking for a new one, please just let me know down in the comments. Like I'd be happy to explain that to you. And, um, and I'll let you know how this new essay meeting goes. Um, there is a couple essays that I obviously would have kept, but I've moved, and so it's like, now what? Because, like, I can't, like, go to the store, I can't get any leather goods, like, sure, I can get sandals and whatever, but it's like, when am I actually going to go back to those stores and, like, start, keep building my purchase history if I wanted to get a quota bag in the future? So, anyways, long rambling, like, explanation to all of this, but, you know, if you don't enjoy fun, then that's fine, just, like, swipe away, it's okay. So, I want to talk about the features of this bag really fast, um, just to... Um, talk to you guys about it if you are looking for this bag and you potentially want to get it secondhand um, or new from the Hermes bag drop um, it's just a bucket bag it's got a nice little handle you can put it up to here my arm is like probably average size I think I'm probably an average size person um, I'm, I'm around five six and um, my dress size is around a six to an eight um, so I can get it almost all the way up here, So I, but I can't get it onto the shoulder. I know that the the um, Picatin Lock 22 can go over the shoulder, so most likely you just would be wearing it here, like in the clutch of my arm or, you know, in the hand. Um, the leather is the Cl Clemence, 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 Let's see here, it's the Clemence leather. Um, I need to just cut this off. Um, and the hardware is palladium. Clemence leather is known to be kind of slouchy, so a lot of times you'll actually see um, like Birkins and Kellys on Fashion File in this type of leather in the larger sizes for like pretty good discounts, like under $7,000, because a lot of people um, avoid this leather in larger size bags because it is so slouchy. It does get a lot of sag in it, um, but it also like that aesthetic is nice too so I wouldn't even worry about it because the leather is very durable it's very very thick and like if you don't mind a slouchy look like you should totally like score those deals because people are avoiding it just because of I don't know because they're a little bit more slouchy it's a different texture it's a different treatment and um, a lot of the Picatins come in the Clemence leather they do have other other leather types they have um, Picatin touches as well as like the goat skin uh, it's like Mysorn I don't know I don't know how to pronounce it uh, the Mysorn leather and those are generally a little bit more expensive so this is like the affordable most affordable option for the Picatin 18 um, for me I don't really carry a lot of stuff so I think that this is more than enough space for me because um, unless like I'm going for a beach day, which would just take a different bag. Um, <clears throat> I think this is perfect, perfect for just like a day bag to hang out, even just like to travel with, because like I can just like fill it with socks or like fill it with t-shirts and put it in my bag and really not worry about it. This seems like a really, really carefree bag to me. Like I'm not going to be so fussed because it's under $3,000. Like I'm not going to be so fussed if it gets beat up the like. Like if I had a Kelly Cellier or something, like I'd be probably pretty fussed about like keeping it nice and like my Chanel um, mini in white, like I'm pretty fussed about trying to keep that like nice and not spill stuff on it. This, this is just like easy, like this is just something so easy to chill with. Um, it does have four feet on the bottom, so it does like, you know, give it a little bit of the leather, a little bit of protection from surfaces when you set it down. Um, and we have this little strap. So I have noticed like taking things in and out of it and putting the stuffing in. I do have to unlock it. So if you are looking for a bag on the secondhand market, I would try to make sure it, it that it at least has one key. Um, however, there are great deals um, for the Picatins if they don't have the lock or the key set. And honestly, girl, you can just maybe go on Etsy or go on Amazon and buy a lock that looks similar, that's a similar size. Um, I can actually, I'll, I'll plug in the measurements of this into this video. 
um, so you can see like about roughly like how big it is. Um, so I'll measure this after I'm done. Um, and you can just buy the lock like secondhand and just throw it on there. Cause like, who's gonna know? And if somebody cares, like what's wrong with them, right? Cause like your own style and your own fashion is your own business. And like, who's gonna care? Who's gonna know? No one. You can get them for like $1,700 without this little lock. So just buy a secondhand one. Um, if this is useful to you so far, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of things to talk to you guys about for in terms of Hermes and handbags in general. And like, I'm just so excited to be here with you guys in this community we're building. It's like freaking awesome. Um, and oh gosh, I've just like gotten so much like positive feedback and so much like encouragement. And it's just been a wonderful journey. Um, Please let me know if you have any questions about the Picatin 18 and what fits. I will be doing a video about what fits and that should be coming up soon within the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned and like and subscribe to my channel.